Hello, Doc Progeny here. Today I've been asked, how can I transfer a data sheet format from one database to another? <clears throat> That's a really good question. First thing you've got to think about when you're transferring that uh, data sheet format, you obviously you've got to copy those fields over as well. So if those fields don't exist in the other database, you've got to create them. So let me show you how you do that. And it's actually pretty straightforward. So I'm here in the PC client version of Progeny 10. I'm going to select our cancer example pedigree. I'm going to, and all I do really is simply right click and save selected pedigree as text. Now you'll see as I do that, it's going to give me some options. Now, depending on what you want to transfer, you may not, you may wish to choose some or all of these. In this case, I'm just going to do them all and click OK. It's then going to ask me which fields do I want to take. Again, if you don't want to copy all of the fields, you can select some of these rather than doing what I'm going to do, which is the quick way of doing, which is just select all. And you'll see I'm selecting all sample fields, individual pedigree fields, and I'm even taking some marker data as well, even though I don't really need that. So then it's going to ask me simply to create a name for this. I'm just going to call this, oops, did I spell it correctly, transfer. And I'm going to save that. And that's going to quickly and rapidly create a file that I can then import into a new database. So I just created a brand new database. I'm going to log into that. I'm going to log in locally to this. And you'll see as I log in, I'm just going to give you a quick talk. There's not much in this database. It's pretty much empty. So there's, there's no pedigrees in this at all. There's also no fields at the moment except for system fields. So I'm quite comfortable copying into this. So I'm going to simply click pedigrees load pedigree from text. I'm then going to choose that same file that I had previously created. And it's going to ask me a few questions. So what do I want to import? And again, if you've got pre-existing formats that or subtext or markers or icons, be careful. Those can be overwritten. So be really careful doing this. You may want to create a new folder that you copy this into. OK. So then click OK. Again, as I mentioned before, what do I want to what fields do I want to copy? Again, if some of these fields exist in the same folders, they won't be copied and imported. They'll be The data will be imported, but not the fields recreated. You'll also see there's a really important checkbox down here. It's critical if you want to do this properly, unless you're using similar databases, that you check that, allow import to create new fields. If you don't, it won't work pretty much. So I'm then going to simply click OK. And it's going to go in, it's going to create those fields, and it's going to import that pedigree. And just so we can have a quick look, uh, first of all, let's look at the fields. And you'll see there's all of these fields in here. All these folders have been copied in to pop into this new database. And then if I open up the pedigree, you'll see, I'm just going to click Smart Draw on that. You'll see I've got some markers showing. You'll see I've got text in the individuals there. And I mean, I'm somewhere here, I will have an icon. Yeah, there's an icon there showing, for example. And if I click into the Pro Band, you'll see here that I've got the data sheet showing all the tabs as you'd expect. But you only have that one format. So that's how you transfer the data sheet format and some fields across. You can see there are other potential uses of transferring data in between different databases. Again, it's something you'll have to do in the PC client. It's not available in the web version. OK, I'm going to finish here for today. If anyone has got any questions or would like to have another video of something else made, just drop me a line. Otherwise, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon.